Well, I'm here at the OHC corporate office in Rogers. We're talking about something really exciting they have happening. It's called the Pavement Project. We're joined by Kevin, David, and Susan. Thank you all so much for being here, talking me through this, because I want some to know what this is. What is the Pavement Project, Kevin? The Pavement Project is a social enterprise that supports a nonprofit. We're a quality-driven, uh, full-service pavement maintenance company that, that offers services like seal coating, crack filling, striping, paving, anything that your parking lot needs, you know, the pavement project can take care of it. Let's take a step back though, Susan. Let's give us some history of this. I know that it is part of and underneath the umbrella of the nonprofit OHC, but talk to us about how that all came about. Well, I think we quickly realized during the pandemic that um, we were going to need something to support the projects of our nonprofit uh, more than just depending on depending on grants and, and things like that. So we uh, uh, looked at the opportunity of developing a business model that uh, we could employ reentry people um, in order to support the nonprofit financially. And, um, you know, we have a Meals on Wheels program as well. You know, food cost, uh, supply chains, you know, continually uh, affect us. And so we're just trying to develop a program that will help support all of our, uh, the programs under our umbrella financially. Right, certainly. And you just mentioned a couple of things right there. Meals on Wheels, you said that's probably the most recognizable um, entity, nonprofit that you kind of support. But you also mentioned reintegration. We talked to us a little bit more about that. Sure, it's a it's a program that we are specifically doing with the pavement project, and so uh, you know uh, we're de partnering with the Department of Corrections and uh, having individuals. We're hoping to set up housing for them, uh, financial training, uh, credit repair if they have a. Uh, GED, then we would, you know, help pay for some technical school. Sure. Uh, if they don't have a GED, then we would work with them to get that, um, and and hopefully prevent them being back in the prison system. Right. Yes. Yeah, and with the pavement business, yeah, they could go anywhere in the country and find a job. So part of what we were trying to do is, as we were, as, as it was being thought about and through the process is, you know, as we know, government funding can can dry up over time. And what we've seen in, in many situations is a nonprofit will start an activity, they'll get people going on it, and then funding dries up. And so, and then you have to suspend programs or cut back. And so, what we were what we were trying to do with this was with with the for profit activity underneath that that would provide funding separate from the government that would allow us to continue with the programs that we have if funding did start to dry up you know so as Susan said during during the pandemic you know there was a lot of funding released to do a lot of things but you know as as time goes on that may dry up so this provides additional funding for us to be able to keep doing what we're doing and keep helping the people in the communities absolutely I mean along with your funders and uh, those grants that you write uh, something like the pavement project is going to help you to be able to do all of those things that impact our community well, being, so the, being the finance guy too. One that's kind of near and dear to my heart is, uh, you know, we have programs for, for helping people with, you know, financial planning and budgeting, you know, how to live on how to live on a budget, how to budget your money and so you can meet your expenses and pay your bills, you know, how to go to the store and shop on a budget. So, you know, a lot of those things that help with, you know, with the with the day-to-day -day life of how to, you know, how to do things. Yeah. You know, and how, so to, how to survive on a, on a limited on a limited income. My question then, I guess to, to close it up is, how can we get involved and support what you have going on? How can we get involved maybe with both the Pavement Project and OHC in general? So when you hire the Pavement Project to take care of your pavement needs, you know, that in essence allows us to, to help out with some of these other programs that we're talking about. And you know, there are also, you know, ways you can donate, uh, you know, above and beyond using the Pavement Project. Sure. Sure, and we're going to have some information for you on your screen right now about how you can get involved with the Pavement Project. If you want to find out more information, uh, you can go to the website you see listed there. Stay with us. We've got more Good Day in WA coming up right after this.